You've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Okay, Virgo. Beautiful. This is what this is what Virgo needs to see and hear for this new year. Virgo 2024. Um, we're going into the year of the dragon. Um, those who are in the year of the dragon this is this obviously will be a year that's favorable to you who are born in the year of the dragon also monkeys pigs and roosters um will have the luckiest year ahead everybody else will have secondary luck um dragons will be like run, uh, first place monkeys pigs and roosters will um pretty much be like right behind and then uh, but not second place like they're they're up there with the dragons and then everybody else is gonna have secondary luck okay there's no third runner up here so there's love i love love who loves love <laughs> give me a thumbs up or like the video if you love love okay and and that unconditional love for yourself gosh virgo that right there i feel like the message is that's the the if you have children, okay, unconditional love, children, grandchildren, yes. Um, pets, yes. Um, and yourself, yes. I'm not so keen on the unconditional love for everybody else. I think everybody else can get supportive love, you know. Um, but unconditional love for yourself is the number one thing that you have to that means that you accept yourself for who you are in your entirety despite any flaws or mistakes that you made in your life that means that you love yourself not in an egotistical way but in an accepting way that means that you know you say to yourself I unconditionally love myself meaning i'm good enough i'm worthy i'm i'm valuable enough um and being affectionate with yourself being even attracted to yourself which does sound kind of weird to say but um in a way where it's like you can sit in a room by yourself and enjoy your company totally you know what i mean that's a good thing but you also have a beautiful love connection happening for some of you this here we go new love that's brewing or that's beginning it could be with um somebody that you meet in january maybe you go on like a coffee date or a dinner date or you um connect with a friend and there's a new love start happening with this person um or it could be somebody that you already have a connection with for some of you and um oh i just see did, did you kiss someone under the mistletoe virgo this year or last year possibly or at some point okay it could be that person and maybe it was just a fun flirty kiss and nothing serious but it looks like something will be brewing here with that person oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness so you've got here we go the ten of cups yet again okay and you have wow the four of cups listen virgo between you and another person here okay and it's all cup energy so i have to tell you for some of you it's going to be a water sign not all but there is water element here for sure um okay they just told me to say some of you are giving up drinking you you had your new year's eve um toast with a drink perhaps and you you made a resolution that you're no you're not doing that I, I do feel like for some of you um and, and this is just a side message that's coming in for some of you you're starting off something new this year you're you have a resolution whatever it might be um and you're avoiding things that that um are are too sweet okay so it could be sweet foods right for some of you it just could be something that is indulging um whatever that might be for you it doesn't have to be food but you're you're showing some resistance to indulging too much in either a particular activity um or something that just wouldn't have long-term benefits for you do you know what i mean right um so whether that's like excessive drinking or if you're a smoker 
Um, you could be quitting these things or coming off the sweets this year, part of your resolution, um, or, you know, uh, switching things up. Maybe you're going to not do sugar and you're going to do, I don't know, Splenda or uh, any kind of other type of sugar. Um, yeah, becoming a bit more apathetic, blocking, saying no. Some of you might even be deciding that you're just going to make that connection with this particular person and not accept any other offers from anybody else um, because you want to go from the two to the ten, okay? Um, and I do feel like whoever the other person is is also having a similar energy as well, okay? Um, not accepting or just really indifferent to love offers by others, uh, you and this person, because there's a beautiful connection being made here. Okay, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, here's the chariot. So we do have cancer there. Um, some there's progress. There's going to be progress made in a love relationship, Virgo. Okay. Um, let me see here. Oh yeah, there's the higher font. I mean, come on. Spirit's like, let's talk. Let's have a chat. Um, committed relationship or something formal occurs as well okay this is beautiful so we do have taurus here um you know the hierophant is really like very structured energy i feel it's not it's not a rebellious energy there's progress into something very structured with um, a particular person happening um so like i said if you're meeting somebody new in january expect that to actually progress into something long term or something more um you know within the bounds of your beliefs and your desires as far as relationship goes um you and this person you could be um some of you might be going on like a spiritual retreat as well in january traveling or going to some kind of spiritual retreat as well let me see what else is going on oh there's my doggy barking Okay. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Just what I was saying. You could be going on a retreat with someone as well or connecting with someone and it turns into a very um, beautiful spiritual kind of connection with someone as well. Um, yeah, there's... I, I definitely feel like there is some kind of journey, um, a love journey happening here with someone and it, it goes... Like, you guys get to your destination, whatever the destination is that you both figure out together. You guys, um, it progresses. So there's, you know, and, and don't be fearful with this progression. It will not be one linear straight line. There's going to be stops and starts, three steps back, two steps forward, two steps back, three steps forward. That's all the natural progression of anything. Um, so if you feel like you're connecting with someone and then you guys have some stops and starts that's not an indication that the relationship is not going to work that's an indication of okay we reassess we regroup and then we go it's like when you're traveling um in a, in a vehicle if you're going cross country um just because you stop for the night to sleep and eat does not mean the destination is abandoned it just means we're going to take a little break and regroup and recharge and re we're going to retreat and rest and then get back in the car again however long the next day or two days and then we're going to continue on the journey okay so you might feel like oh okay well this is great and we're having this thing here but now we haven't spoken in three days well that doesn't necessarily mean now everybody's situation is different but i don't see that that necessarily means that this thing is done it just because i don't see that i see the journey and i see the progression of of a beautiful love relationship happening here so um i don't know if i i felt like i just needed to tell you that <laughs> yeah see there's the five of pentacles so there may be a sense or a feeling a little bit of like oh we're having a struggle or somebody um who you connect with or you're connecting with might be temporarily unavailable and so there's this feeling of left out in the cold or um, somebody could be um, very busy with work. You could be you, could be the other person, um, or there could be some financial struggles. It doesn't mean it's, you know, done. I just see here that there's this progression and this is the, 
the, the stop before the next start, okay? With the five of the five of pentacles, okay? Um, where it's that feeling left out in the cold, um, feeling ill or feeling sick because somebody's away or somebody feeling that way. You know, when I say somebody, I'm talking either you or another person. And two people feeling like, okay. But regardless, even in the, even in the stop part of the stops and starts, they're still together, they're still together here you see so it's not it's not a card of just you know tiny tim here with his little crutch all by himself walking in the snow um there's hope they're walking outside of this church which represents faith it's keeping the faith virgo even in the the dark moments and not giving up okay and that's having that positive mindset and and also with this love relationship reminding yourself that um you know, you are still worthy of love, even if you feel like there's a difficult uh, struggle that might be happening, because that's relationships. Relationships are complex. People are complex. People like to do different things. Um, people are not always on the same page. It doesn't mean, you know, like I used to tell my children all the time when they were little, like I would always say to them, I may not like what you did, but I never stopped loving you right and that is i oh like i always love you you're not none of us are i mean yeah you're perfect to me my children but everybody makes mistakes right and it doesn't mean that the love is gone it just means that this is a struggle period right now i do feel like whoever your person is if you meet somebody new and there's like okay we started talking and things were going great and now this person i haven't heard from them in like a week um and we had all these plans Stay in faith, stay in that place of abundance, stay in that place of um, self-love and keep the faith and stay hopeful because I do feel like things are going to just go forward here. What else does Virgo need to know? And then I'm going to end your reading. Okay, you've got death. Okay, <laughs> that's so perfect. Virgo, you're definitely going to be presented with this you've got this new new beginning here the death card doesn't the death card is not singular it doesn't represent an end okay and that's scorpio energy it doesn't represent an ending without a new beginning nothing just ends there's always something that takes its place there's always a void that has to be filled so so when you feel like something is over because you, you might feel that way um maybe it triggers insecurities or um abandonment issues that might happen in january but you got to remember something like virgo and i'm just going to keep it straight og 80 style you're not a grody person virgo you are the ish don't forget who the hell you are Okay, if you're feeling in, uh, and I don't mean that in an egotistical way, like love yourself, value yourself. Remember, don't forget who you are. This is the Virgo card. This is Virgo in abundance. This is Virgo being, uh, Virgo, you might have things really twisted. You might have some insecurities or feelings like, well, somebody doesn't like you or someone's you're not good enough for someone no virgo they might just be very intimidated by you or they might just feel awkward around you maybe they want to take a break you know or if they've got some deceitful things going on virgo that's them that's on them that doesn't that doesn't represent who you are people are going to make the choices they're going to make in their life but you got to stand strong within yourself within your core within your power and live your life the way you want to live your life and how you know because even if you even if you end up single which i don't really feel like you will um but even if it comes to that or you just kind of just say okay it's done it's over then power back up and return that love back to yourself. That's what that self-love is about, okay? And I don't mean like, you know, go go to work and ignore everything, right? No, uh, uh, just the love that you give, if it's not accepted, it's always returned back to you, okay? So just keep that in mind. I feel like you need to know that. And, and like I always say, I always say like about money, <laughs> I never feel like I run out of money. 
because at, even at times when my bank accounts, I'm just always like the ebb and flow, you know, money always comes and money goes money goes and then it comes back again and then it goes and it comes back again it's just the way it's just life and it's the same thing with love it's the same thing with relationships it's the same thing with the seasons it's the same thing like we go through these cycles right accept the cycles and don't let the dark cycle um keep you in fear and make you lose your hope it's in it's in the dark um you know even the smallest spark can light up the dark you know, so keep that spark about you, Virgo. Don't lose your spark, no matter what you're going through. Um, if you have an, a connection with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, um, and if if you feel like you're it, like because you have free will, so if there's a struggle that happens for you, like I showed you there with the Five of Pentacles, and you feel like no, you're just going to end this. Don't get distraught. Get back up on the horse because there is an opportunity for new love from another like i said it's the ebb and flow somebody else is going to come in but you have to decide at the end of the day i don't really feel like that's going to happen um and i feel like if you really are like loving yourself and you you meet someone and you love this person whether you meet them or you just whatever the situation is i do feel like um even if it doesn't work out which i don't feel like it won't but you have to be the one to make that decision um you still have a love for you still have like the ace of cups with the king of pentacles masculine or feminine that is still like new even new love for yourself is a beautiful thing right we love yourself again but whatever it takes but but and i don't want to blow smoke but i do feel like If you feel like something's come to a start just repower up and start loving yourself again right don't stop that that's the message Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.